Hey guys, I'm so glad to be back for my week 16 and week 17 video. I missed my week 16 mark on Wednesday to get that video up, but I'm glad I'm back and um, I'm going to try and make this not too long because I know I'm trying to mesh two weeks into one and my videos are usually pretty long as it is. So I'm going to try and not get off topic. So we're going to start with my symptoms. I'm definitely starting to feel better. That is definitely a good good thing. I am, I don't have very much nausea anymore. I have it a little bit. I had it a lot over the holidays because we were traveling and especially since we were traveling by car, it was really hard to be in the car for hours on end with a little bit of nausea going on. But I brought my preggy pops with me and they helped out so I got through it. Um, I have been having, I know I, I told you guys about that I was having some breast pain and this week and last week I have had this, I've been noticing kind of the same thing. My left breast is like, it hurts more, it's more sensitive, I, I just feel like it's got a lot more going on on this side than the right side, so I don't know if that means that my, I'm going to be better at breastfeeding on one side versus the other. Um, I would really like to breastfeed evenly, so... Who knows, but I really hope I really hope the right one like will catch up or something because that would suck really bad. Um, veins. You guys know I have varicose veins, but they've been getting worse. And I've been getting them in the backs of my hands. You can't see them really in this camera, but one day I was in the bathroom and I was just shocked. Like I couldn't believe how dark they were and they were kind of swelling out of my my the backs of my hands. So the veins are definitely real because there's so much blood coursing through my body right now. So thirst. I'm always thirsty. I, I'm chugging water like no other. Even though I'm drinking so much water, my husband is like telling me that I need to slow down on the Coke Zero because I love Coke Zero. And he's always trying to shove water in front of me. Um, my sister-in-law, his sister is actually also pregnant. She told us that she was pregnant we found out when we were celebrating Christmas with my husband's side of the family. So she's only two weeks behind me, so we're both going through pregnancy together. And her husband is give, bringing her water all the time, so Nick is trying to take notes from him and make sure I'm getting enough water. It's really funny. Um, so the linea nigra, or linea nigra, I don't really know how you say it. The line that goes from your belly button down, or some people have the line that goes um, on like up from your belly button and then down from your belly button. It's just like a dark line. People that get that normally have a um, darker skin tones. Um, people with fair complexions don't normally get it, but I can see a little bit of a line. It's it's really nothing. I don't think this this camera won't be able to pick it up. I really need to get a good camera. If anybody has good suggestions of a camera that I should get to use for my videos, let me know in the comments because I'm not a YouTuber per se, I'm just doing this, um, I just really started doing this, so let me know because right now I just use the one on my laptop. Anyway, so I can see a little line and like I said, I don't think this camera will pick it up, but I think that it's there, which is, um, it just means it's hormones coursing through your body, so that's, that's kind of weird, but um, yeah, I have that. Headaches are not awful, but they're there and I they get in the way. I mean, they're really annoying. I take, I've taken a lot of Tylenol these past couple weeks because of headaches and I'm hoping those will go away soon, but I've never been much of a person to have headaches, so I'm kind of surprised that I have, that I've been having so many. I, I told you guys about my eyes and how my vision has been a little weird. Um, I thought that my vision was getting worse, but I went in to, to see the optometrist and she said that my vision actually isn't, normally every time I go, I go every six months and my vision's gotten worse every time. I mean, it's just gradually declining. And this time I went in and she said that it doesn't necessarily mean that it's getting, my vision is getting better. Um, they may have overcorrected last time because the prescription that I got this time is lower than what I got um, six months ago. So that means that it, my eyes aren't getting worse. If anything, they're getting better. So 
that's really good news. Um, having your vision decline is really freaky, so I'm really happy about that. We switched my contact brand because the ones I was using were starting to really irritate my eyes, and I think that it's pregnancy related, so we switched brands. I'm going to be doing one a day contacts, and hopefully those will work out better. And she told me to start using eye drops before I put them in and right after I take them out. So, I have been noticing for the first time this week that I am out of breath a lot. It doesn't really take much for me to get out of breath, but I feel like that could be because I'm getting a little bit out of shape, I won't lie. I haven't been working out. I have been eating whatever I want, so I've been gaining weight. I don't really have a problem with it. I know I need to be healthy and get into shape. And the gym will become a priority again once things level out, and I know that for you gym fitness buffs, that's like the most annoying thing to hear. You know, you're supposed to, like, no excuses, work out every day, eat right every day. You know what? You do you, and I'll go back to the gym whenever I feel like it. Nothing bad's happening right now. I've, I feel fine. Um, I am going to go back to the gym once things calm down with work. I, that's my first priority right now. So... I'm getting tired again. I thought that, and once again, this could be due to my diet and my lack of exercise, but I'm getting a little bit tired again like I was in the beginning of my pregnancy when, just in the very beginning when I was really tired, I when I was going to bed, getting in bed at like 7. Um, the past couple of days I've been getting really tired and kind of wanting to be done with the day around 7 or 8. So maybe, hopefully that will go away because I know I'm supposed to get my energy back. So, I have experienced the most probably exciting thing, one of the most exciting things, quickening, which is just a word for feeling your baby move. The first time I felt her move was, I want to say it was 16 weeks or maybe a little bit before, I used the flashlight on my phone and I put it up to my belly because basically if you put the flashlight up, the baby will move around from the light and... Um, it makes them move. It kind of stimulates them. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not going to hurt them or do anything bad to their eyes. So um, it's no big deal. But I felt her move for the first time when I did that. And then um, the second time that I felt a really huge, huge move was in the middle of the night. It was New Year's Day. And it was the night after New Year's or the night of New Year's Day. I woke up in the middle of the night at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and she was like dancing around, like just punching around, kicking around. It was very obvious that she was moving around in there and it was really cool. Then yesterday, which I will come back to this in a little bit because this is like a big part of this video, but yesterday I went to, um, I'm not going to give it away yet, but I was at one of my ultrasounds, yes, one of them. And I, I felt her kick the probe, and it was really strange. <laughs> but I felt her kick, and I kind of saw it on the ultrasound. I saw it kind of shake, and I know, and it was her kicking it. So that was really awesome. And now, the past couple of days, she's been responding to food. She really moves around every time I eat, and this is really quick. I mean, this is really soon because I'm only in my 17th week. But they say. I've read that if you're relatively thin, which we're not thin by any means, but if you have a smaller body frame, body type, whatever, you can feel it sooner. So that's cool. We haven't started the nursery yet. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to see pictures and videos of the nursery on my Instagram and Twitter and, and stuff like that, and we haven't started it yet. That is coming soon. My office right now is in the nursery and I need to catch up on some orders before we can go ahead and start the transition. Um, I have like around 40 or so orders to get through and then as soon as I'm through with those orders I'm going to be moving the nursery, moving my office out of the room and moving the nursery in which we really don't have anything for it yet. So. I already have my color scheme. It's going to be silver, gray, and white with little hints of pink. And I'm going to want to do like some silver giraffe type um, decor. 
I don't really know where to get stuff like this. I, if you have any cute ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm always open to you guys' ideas. I really like it when you guys leave comments and engage with my video because I like hearing what's on y'all's mind. So Nick, my husband, has been really, really sweet. I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, but he's just, he's been so helpful and so sweet and so genuine and I, I'm telling you, I fall in love with that man more every day. He's a gift from God, and I love him so much, and I'm sorry this is so mushy, but he's just been fabulous, and he's going to be such a great dad, and I, I'm so lucky. I just can't believe every day how lucky I am. Um, sleep positions. So your body kind of naturally tells you, like, hey, don't sleep on your belly anymore. Hey, don't sleep on your back anymore. Sleeping is getting more and more uncomfortable as we go. You guys will see my belly at the end of this video. And while it's not huge by any means, it's sensitive. So moving around is finding a perfect sleep position is sometimes difficult. They say, I love it, they say, there's internet articles and apps and whatever, that it's best to sleep on your left side, even though there's really, there is really no scientifically proven reason for this. They believe that it's better for your circulation to lay on your left side rather than your right side. That's the most comfortable position to me anyway, so maybe this is true. But it does hurt to lay on my stomach, and it does hurt to lay on my back. I use a pregnancy pillow, the Comfort You Total Body Support, and I love it. Um, it's going to be hard getting rid of it after the pregnancy. I, so cravings, my preferences of food are very different. I'm normally like a really bold food eater. I like to try new things. I like really bold flavors. I'm really, um, I'm definitely a foodie, but lately, um, meat, I, and I love meat. I love beef. I love all meat. Sorry, vegetarians, vegans. I am a meat lover and a dairy lover. So I... And that's my thing. That's my jam. But now that I'm pregnant, it's totally different. I mean, I'll eat chicken. I like chicken now. Um, but I'm like, I'm liking more mild foods lately, which is very different for me. And definitely fruits and vegetables and healthy stuff. But I'm craving pickle salt, pickle juice, only the sour kind. There's some pickle juice that I won't touch. Super sour pickle juice, pickle salt, and Sour Patch Kids. I bought like a two pound bag of Sour Patch Kids. So bad for me, so bad for Skyla, but I don't overdo it. I just eat a couple at night when we're watching Homeland. Um, and that is kind of my little treat at night. Okay, weight gain. I have gained a total of 12 pounds since my first appointment. My first appointment was at eight weeks and I weighed um, 128 with some change. And this appointment, I weighed 140 with some change. So, and this appointment was at 17 weeks yesterday. So I've gained a total of 12 pounds. When I tracked it, I really should have only gained nine pounds by now, but three pounds over that is okay. I don't feel, I will be able to tell when I'm going overboard. Um, like if I get on a Jessica Simpson level, we're gonna have to tone it back a bit, but I don't feel I will know when I need to tone it back, and if my doctor tells me you need to stop eating so much, you're gaining too much weight, I have no problem with that. But right now, guys, I'm eating whatever I want, and I'm proud of it. So, okay, here we go with my OB appointment yesterday. And you guys know I love my doctor. But yesterday was a little different. <laughs> So first thing happens is I go in and they take my weight, take my blood pressure. You always leave a urine sample, at least at my OB practice. I always have to leave an OB. Oh, say hi, Duchess. Hi, look how big I'm getting. I'm getting so big and fat. Hello. You need to get down off the table. Um, so always leave a urine sample at my OB. Um, I'm pretty sure that they always do drug screens every time that you have your urine taken because at my at one of my appointments she was going through all my results and she was talking about my um, urine test and she was like your drug screen came back negative I'm like yeah obviously like <laughs> what are you talking about I didn't even know that you that they screen for that but apparently they do so 
there's that. I don't know what else they're screening for. I think proteins in your urine and sugar. Proteins and sugar, if there's a problem, they'll probably call me and let me know. But they haven't called me yet, so we're, we should be good on that. Um, so then they put me in a room that was not the ultrasound room. And every other time that I've gone into the doctor, I've been in the ultrasound room. I've never gone to see her without going in the ultrasound room. And you guys know that I found out through my blood test that we're having a girl. But then I got a little nervous because I was worried that maybe the blood test wasn't 100% accurate. And <clears throat> so I, w I was like looking forward to this appointment because I was expecting her to do an ultrasound to see and confirm that it's a girl because that's a huge deal, right? Like you would think that they would want to confirm. But I am having a 20-week ultrasound. I think they call it like a um, pano or a pana or pan something where they look at everything, the um, brain, the heart, the organs. They look to see how everything's developing to give you a better idea of how well your baby's doing. And that's when they confirm the sex. Well, that's three weeks from now, and I was like planning on going in and seeing an ultrasound, so I had it like locked in my head for these past couple weeks since we had the blood test, which was uh, like a month ago, um, to see that yesterday. Well, she puts me in a room that is not a ultrasound room, and she brought in the Doppler. So I thought that was, I was already kind of annoyed. Um, but then I, the appointment started out, I asked her some questions. I said, um, are there any products that I can't use on my skin? She said, any products that are prescription strength, you should consult with me first before using, but um, other, any other products that aren't prescription strength, they don't absorb into your bloodstream enough to where it would be a problem, so don't worry about skin products. So I liked that answer. I also asked her about um, what are her thoughts on having the placenta um, encapsulated to take after the pregnancy because there's a lot of claims that it helps with postpartum depression. There are just a lot of claims that it's beneficial. She told me that they didn't even allow you to take your placenta out of the hospital for years. And she said they just started like barely allowing people to take their placenta home, but it's a living organ and it has a chance of bacteria growth. There's a chance of um, contamination. Like um, if there, if you have anything in your blood like um, hepatitis or ABC, um, that's potentially harmful to be taken out of the hospital, which makes total sense. Um, and she said that if I were to take it or have a midwife come pick it up, take it to her house and encapsulate it for me, that there's a chance of cross-contamination with someone else's placenta who, let's say, someone else's placenta has um, a disease and it comes into contact with the same equipment that's used to encapsulate mine. Then I could take those pills and potentially be infecting myself. So she said she doesn't think it's a good idea, and that's a pretty big, I mean, that's a pretty big gamble. So I have decided not to encapsulate my placenta, which I really wanted to do, and now I'm not going to be doing that. I'm a better safe than sorry person, so all it takes is one person to say, this isn't a good idea and here's why, and I'm completely off the bandwagon. I can't help it, that's just how I am, I'm just, I've always been that way. I also asked her when we're going to talk about cord blood because I do want to put cord blood into a bank and um, she said we would talk about that in my third trimester. So then I told her she had like a Doppler she was going to check the heartbeat but I was like hey I just wanted to ask um, I have had a little bit of spotting barely I mean really barely anything maybe it wasn't even spotting I mean it's that minuscule that I don't even know if it was, but I just want to know um, what you think about that. She was like, well, I want to do an exam and I want to do an ultrasound. So I'm like, oh, well, that's what I wanted anyway. <laughs> didn't say that, but I'm like, that's what I wanted anyway. So she took me in there, she did a vaginal exam, and then she did a ultrasound, and she said everything looks great, but then this is where it got kind of weird. So I... While she was doing the ultrasound, she wasn't explaining to me what she was looking at. She was kind of looking around with the probe. And um, at this point, Skyla's 17 weeks, and she looks like a serious alien, okay? Like, 
weird alien and she was looking straight at the probe so like her eyes are there it's like an alien face and she's just like I mean strange just completely like like a little dinosaur in there I mean, it was just so weird and I'm looking at her like what is that so I'm just kind of and I have pictures I'll show you in a minute but it just looked, did not look like a little baby it looked like a little alien and her spine looks like there's like two panels of the spine and I thought that it would look like one without anything in the center just one like this like one white line for the spine but it doesn't it looks like there's like a space in between and I'm like does everything look normal like is that how it's supposed to look she goes yeah everything looks great um, you when you go to your 20 week appointment for your piano or pan or whatever it is, um, the sonogram, that they'll be able to look at everything in more detail, but what I'm looking at right now looks great, looks completely normal. So, like, okay, so I'm getting dressed, but I'm not really thinking anything of it. She gave me three pictures, I'll show you guys in a minute, they're terrifying. And, um, so I'm getting ready to leave, and she's like, oh, so we're going to do a blood test that it's a test for 15 to 20 weeks, so the last time I was there was only 12 weeks or something like that. Yeah, I think it was only 12 weeks last time I went. She was like, but you can't get this test until 15 to 20 weeks. It tests for different things, but most specifically, it tests for spina bifida. And I'm like, what is that? Because I kind of knew. Because I'm thinking like, okay, well, I thought her spine looked weird in the ultrasound, and now I'm having a spina bifida test. Like, is this normal? She goes, yeah, it's um, completely customary. It's not like you're not getting this for any special reason. I give this to everybody. Um, it's nothing to worry about. So I go have my blood drawn and I'm just like not feeling right about it. And I'm kind of just freaking out. So I ask a few of my friends who just gave birth or people who um, are pregnant if they were given this test. And not really any of them said that they remember having the test because usually you have this like huge panel of tests. And maybe it was just slipped in there and they didn't know. But they didn't have it like separate specific at one appointment. Maybe it was... When they had their test done, they were 15 weeks, so they were able to have the test done. So, I didn't like that either. So then I'm like looking up spina bifida, and basically what it is, it's where the spine doesn't close all the way. And that was exactly what I was like thinking was weird on the ultrasound. But I, ha I think that she would have told me if there was something weird going on. But I just had a sick feeling in my stomach. Um, I'll show you the pictures you can't really <laughs> This is so freaky. Um... So here's the first one. She's looking straight at the um, camera. That's, where's my finger? That's a little hand. That's a little hand. That's the top of her skull. That's an eyeball right there. Eyeball right there. Nose, mouth. Looking straight at it. This one is terrifying. She must have moved right when she captured this picture because look how her eye is like huge right there. And tiny right there, and that's her mouth and nose, forehead. Um, that's freaking scary, so I didn't like that. And then here is her profile. So if you can see her spine, um, that's why I thought it was weird. But um, after going online and comparing her pictures of her spine to other normal ultrasound pictures, it's pretty much they all look like that. But at the time... It just, those two things together just made me panic because I'm having like pregnancy freak out panic mode this week more than ever. I This week I've gotten really into like, holy crap, like I hope that everything's okay. All my other tests have came back normal, but like now I've just, this panic has set in and I just want my daughter to be healthy and I'm just trying to be calm and wait for my blood test to come back and go to my 20 week appointment just to feel better because I've just this appointment for some reason just made me freak out so I thought about this for a really 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 long time because it's kind of controversial but I didn't I didn't feel like um, I just wanted to see a better ultrasound picture of her face I wanted to make sure that her face is like proportionate, even though she's only six 
17 weeks, so she's still forming. I wanted to get a better view of her spine. I just wanted to get more pictures to compare to other pictures online because I'm a freaking worry wart. And you guys are probably shaking your head at me right now, but I couldn't stop. So I went to a private ultrasound place called like ultrasound something. I can't think of it right now. My brain is like whack job because this is what happens to me. I get all panicked. Anyway, so I go to this private ultrasound and um, they do 3D, 4D. It's like not a long exposure at all. They just go through to show you, um, they just go through to show you really quick what you want to see. And I'm really glad that I did it because this ultrasound looked normal and the pictures that they gave me looked normal because it wasn't on like an old Toshiba machine. It was like a new <laughs> ultrasound or sonogram like 3D, 4D equipment and Skyla looked normal again and I felt way better after I went to it. So I'm glad I went. It wasn't expensive. It was only 80 bucks and 80 bucks for my peace of mind is it was really worth it to me because I was having panic attacks. And um, yeah, so I'm glad that I went. They gave me video and pictures of Skyla. Um, they gave me a video, two videos, or more than that. A couple of them I don't know what's going on, but video and pictures. And at the end of the video, I'll attach them so that you guys can see her, uh, her secondary ultrasound pictures and video because they look a lot better than these crazy scary ones that I have here. Even though these are on my fridge, but I don't really know why because I like my new pictures way better. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it for that. But I do have a lot of products. So if that's all you guys wanted to hear about was my symptoms and things like that, um, you can skip ahead to my bump shot later. And you can skip ahead to Skyla's pictures and videos at the end of this if you don't want to hear about all of this. But I have a lot of products that I want to share. I have a lot of maternity clothes that I want to share. And I have some new things that I got for Skyla that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to start with products. And I did want to mention that fresh deodorant that I had talked about in my previous video. It actually worked pretty well for a few hours. But I was working one of the days. I'm also a wedding coordinator. So towards the end of my wedding um, last weekend, I, was, I could smell myself. So... Once again, I just, the organic stuff and the all-natural stuff just hasn't been doing it for me. Um, I went back to my secret um, stress response that always has worked. But another company sent me a trial called Native. And it's paraben and aluminum free. And it is, um, it's all-natural. So I, I just got this in today. I put it on when I got out of the shower and it's really thick. You have to rub it in because if you just kind of apply it, um, it needs to be rubbed in. So I'm excited to see if this works. I really hope that it does because um, I haven't been able to find one yet that does. So here's that. I'll be putting a link at the bottom for you guys to um, get a glimpse of that. Another company called Pura, I don't know if this is Dior or Pura Dior, Pura something, um, Organic Solutions have sent to me. Some more products to try, and I'll be t I'll be giving a more thorough review in my next video. But I just got them today: a healing conditioner and hair loss prevention therapy shampoo. Because after pregnancy, your hair, some people's hair, starts to fall out. So I'll be putting a link to this company as well in the details. And they also gave me this cute little um, argan oil, and argan oil is good for hair, skin, and nails. So argan oil is great, and it has, this is the type of um, bottle it's in. So I'm excited for this. Thank you guys for sending me this. I really appreciate it. And I'll be talking about more um, about it more in my next week's video. Um, I've had a few people ask me, because you know that I'm doing the sunless tan again, and I'm doing the sunless tan lotions, not the spray, because I don't want to inhale anything in. But this is the Tarte um, sunless tan cream and I mix this in with my moisturizer because if you put it on just by itself like it's black. 
So you need to really kind of mix it in with something, or at least I do. So there's that. And then Glisten is a company here in Houston. And I'm not sure if they've expanded yet, but it's, a, it's just a sunless tanning place that you can go. Um, I canceled my membership because I can't get spray tans, or I can, but I don't anymore. Um, get spray tans, and I just have been using this sunless color extending moisturizer. It's like a gradual tan, um, but I'm almost out of it. And I have another one on Instagram that I'm going to be trying. But I wanted to show you guys those because I've had some people ask what I'm using for tanning. So for Christmas, I got three things in my stockings at my mom's and my mother-in-law's house. Um, my mom got me the Mamma Mio Tummy Rub Butter and the Pregnancy Boob Tube. I like these. They kind of sometimes ball up, if you know what I mean. Like they, they're they thick, so they, they've got kind of like maybe a silicone or some type of um, something in them. They're, they're pretty much unscented. But this goes on your boobs and this goes on your belly. Anywhere else that you have stretch marks or you're getting, I haven't gotten stretch marks yet. Um, but these are good. They do kind of like ball up if that makes sense. But um, she got them at like a maternity store. And then my mother-in-law got me this Body Boost Stretch Mark Butter, which is also fragrance free. I really like this one. It's really creamy and nice. Um, that's what it looks like inside. It's really um, a thin consistency. It's not thick. And these are a lot thicker. I don't know if you can, you probably can't tell from the pictures, but this one's thicker, or from the video. Then I do treat my fine lines because I have fine lines on my forehead and around my mouth. And I've just started using this again now that I'm in the second trimester and I'm feeling a lot better. And since my doctor said it's okay, this is my all-time favorite Ren skincare um, beauty shot, instant firming beauty shot. This is like, I swear by this stuff, I will never, I will never stray from this because it almost instantly takes any fine lines away that you have. You have to dab it. Don't rub it. You just want to dab because um, you don't want to break the product apart. It's phenomenal. You can get it at Sephora. You'll love it. I promise you will not regret buying this. I've used it forever. Um, okay, so that's it for products. So now I'm going to go into maternity. This is from um, Jewel Tones. And you can't really see very well in this video. I'll kind of get it closer. This is like a bodysuit that you can wear underneath a dress or a pants and a top, really underneath anything. It's kind of like shapewear, but pregnant women can wear it because it's not too constricting. Um, and that's from Jewel Toned. Um, everything that I'm talking about here, I'll be linking in the details. Um, okay, then um, Pink Blush Maternity, which you guys have heard me talk about before. These pants, these are like work pants from Pink Blush Maternity. They have like fake pockets on the side. And um, they're basically just like boot cut work pants. And I love them from Pink Blush. And then I got two more dresses from Pink Blush that I'm really excited, especially because um, I'm going to be my biggest kind of in the spring. And this dress is adorable with the ruching in the middle. Um, I'll be putting a belt around that, but it's a short dress, a little bit below the knee. And, I mean, a little bit above the knee. And then this dress is just stunning. I mean, this is probably one of my favorites so far. This is a maxi, and it's like a quarter sleeve maxi with a tie around the waist. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The tie is right here. And I do post, I am going to be posting pictures um, with these on, on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, you can get on there and follow me. Um, and then I went to motherhood maternity and got some jeans. I got a dark pair, a light pair, and a gray pair. So this is the dark pair. They're Jessica Simpson, I want to say. Yep. And then they have this band at the top. This one has a dark band. I'm wearing my light pair right now and they have like little holes and they have a nude band. But these have the dark band. Um, and these are my dark ones. They're like a skinny cut, just like the ones I have on right now. Um, 
And then here's my gray pair that I also got from Motherhood Maternity. All of these are size extra small, which is so insane because I don't wear extra small and I'm not an extra small, but um, the smalls were just sagging in the crotch and just really big. And since they stretch out throughout the day, the extra small just worked better for me. So I went with um, I went with that, which still shocks me. Um, my sister was telling me to try them on, and I was like, absolutely no chance. I'm trying those on. I do not wear extra small, and then they, they fit, so they run pretty big. Um, and this is my gray pair. Um, I really love these. These are by Indigo Blue, just like the ones I have on right now. Um, the ones I have on right now are the light pair, like I said. The gray with the gray band at the top. This is the only one that I still have the price tag on. And they were on sale for $39.99 at Motherhood Maternity. And I'll try, I'll try to link the actual product of what it is. But if I can't link the product, I'll link the store that I got it. Um, this Jessica Simpson mother, um, maternity top is really comfortable. Long sleeve. Just super cute. Um, so soft. That's one of my favorites. And I got this top from Motherhood Maternity as well. $39.99 and it is just the Motherhood Maternity brand. And this is a small. And the gray top just now is a small as well. But this is what it looks like and it's, it's, it looks really big around the bottom but it has ties. It zip, has like a cute zipper in the back and then it has this tie that ties it in the back and it really cinches in um, your empire waistline and it's, it's adorable on um, even though it looks kind of big off. And then I, um, oh here's another thing. This was a gift from my sister. It is um, due in June for motherhood maternity. It's really cute. It's a small sheet. Ripped the price tag off, off, obviously. And then I have Stitch Fix. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I switched to Stitch Fix Maternity. And um, they sent me this week these leggings. They're just black leggings. And my favorite thing about them is this gold zipper detail at the bottom. And I love that. And the top I'm wearing right now is also from Stitch Fix. And, um, yeah, these are the two things I got from my Stitch Fix maternity this month. I really love it. Okay, so now we can move on to Skyla stuff. Um, my friend Caitlin gave me these adorable, she works for Ralph Lauren, and she gave me these adorable little shoes for Skyla. And they have this really cute, um, they look like little ballerina shoes. How sweet is that? I mean, it really doesn't get any sweeter than that. I love them so much. Um, and they're size um, two, which I think that means two months. Three months to six months. Yes. Um, my mom put these. I had to share these with you guys because these were in Nick's stocking from my mom but they're from Restoration Hardware, and these are maybe the cutest finger puppets I've ever seen. So these, Nick will have a lot of fun with Skyla with these. So much fun! I love these. My mom always comes up with the cutest little gifts to give us. It's gonna be really fun. Um, oh, I did get um, some gift cards for Christmas. I've never been to Bye Bye Baby. I don't know if it's just an online store or not, but I got a Bye Bye Baby gift card. I got a pee in the pod, which is probably my favorite uh, maternity store. I have some leggings that are being washed right now that I will have to show you guys in my next video. Um, and Destination Maternity, which is Motherhood Maternity and pee in the pod. So these are gold. And I'm very excited about these. Are my closet size divider organizer um, for Skyla's clothes in my closet. And the back has more, so when she gets bigger. From Etsy. Like I said, you'll be able to find that link. Um, this was a gift for Christmas, a Christmas gift. 
and I think it's the sweetest thing, a baby print ornament for next year. Yay! So sweet. I love baby stuff. I've never loved baby stuff before, but now I'm really into it. Um, my sister-in-law gave me two Ultimate Swaddles and two little polka dot ones. These are my first swaddles. I don't know anything about swaddles, so I'm excited um, to get these. And let's see. Oh, <laughs> these are so precious. Um, these are from the Blooming Lilac Boutique on uh, Etsy, and they're little sandals, like uh, bottomless, footless sandals to go on Skyla's little feet. <laughs> and they come with a headband that matches. I can't stop, guys. They're so perfect. Um, and I got this. <laughs> For Maxie as well. Um, Daddy's WCW. Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> With the little heart. Arm details. I got this. Comes in this really cute little bag from Skylar and Me Shop on Etsy. And it is a um, little onesie with her name. It has a little heart on the butt. And it also has a matching headband <laughs> this stuff is just so <laughs> precious um, and then my sister-in-law gave me this cute little onesie from Carter's super sweet it's newborn size so I'm hoping that she won't be too big for it but there's that and then I wanted to share this with you guys because Nick's mom gave me a bunch of his baby stuff, and he had this little dinosaur onesie, <laughs> and I just thought it was so freaking precious, and I'm definitely going to be putting Skyla in this, you know I will, but this might be my favorite thing that she gave me, for some reason I'm just like in love with it, Nick wore that as a little baby, I can't picture it, um, and then just a couple more things, I got one of my first things for... Skyla's nursery. It was a gift from my aunt. And it's these little wings. <laughs> I was thinking about putting these on the wall or somewhere in Skyla's nursery. Um, but then she can even wear them when she gets bigger for like a picture, like a portrait or um, Halloween or something, or just to play in. Uh, so there's those. And then one of my favorites, this is my last thing to show you guys, and um, before my bump, and this, I got this at my private ultrasound, um, and it has that guyless heartbeat in it. So... I love this. I needed this yesterday because I was like stressing. <laughs> I'm crazy, but what can you do? So I think that's it. So now I'm going to show you. Oh, one thing that I don't have here because I can't really fit it in the screen. I'll be posting pictures on my Instagram. Um, I got the Stokey. I don't know if you say it's Stokey or Stoke. I think Stokey. Um, travel system, which has the Nuna Pipa um, car seat carrier. And it's also a stroller system. And then I also got the attachment. I got all black. And then I also got the attachment for the carry cot, which is for the babies up to six months. And that is um, an amazing travel system that my mom got us for Christmas. And I'm like thrilled about it. So I can't wait to upload pictures of those. And then I got a swing from Babies R Us that it's like um, a little pink chandelier and it has a light show and it has um, it music and it's, it's just a little pink swing. I can't wait to upload a picture of that. You guys are going to die. Nick's going to put it together tonight. Um, but that's my stuff this week. And I know this is such a long video, but that's because I'm trying to squish two into one and I'm trying to talk fast. Um, but there is that. So 
I will be able to show you guys my little jeans that I have on. Um, my other pair that you didn't really get to see. So I'm wearing my maternity top from um, Stitch Fix. And here's my bum with the clothes on. I mean, it's obviously getting there from the front. And these are my jeans. I love them. And from this side, look at my big butt. I'm getting big everywhere. This is insane. Um, and then this is what these jeans look like. They have this nice little nude band that comes really high. And then here is the big ass bump. All right, guys. Thank you for watching my 16, 17 week video on 10 to 1. Thank you for bearing through um, all this time. Links to all my products and everything will be in the details. And I'm going to be putting a couple pictures of Skyla at the end from my private ultrasound as well as a little short video that's really cute. And I really love it when you guys comment. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Um, it means a lot to me to have you guys engaged in these. Um, subscribe, like the video. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you in a week.